It has now been nearly two months since the bodies of these two women, Kylan Schulte and Crystal Turner, were found near Moab. And while no suspects have been publicly identified by law enforcement, the family of one of the women has now brought on some new help to look into the murders. Fox 13's Brian Schnee sat down with a private investigator to learn more about what needs to come forward to hopefully crack this case. For nearly a month, Sean Paul Schulte had been collecting clues at a park in Moab, trying to compile any information he could on the alleged murders of his daughter, Kylan Schulte and Crystal Turner. And he assembled all these great clues, including suspe a suspect list. Now, Jason Jensen, a private investigator, is involved, trying to build on the information Sean Paul compiled. How many people are you looking at right now? Our list is roughly 17. That list is of people who might fit the profile of a person of interest. But since all of the physical evidence is in the possession of law enforcement, he's having to take a different approach. This is where... Crystal and Kylan camped. He recently visited the site where Kylan and Crystal were found. What we're hoping for is that satellite imagery will identify the color of a car that was parked next to Kylan and Crystal's camp so that we got a color and hopefully if it's clear enough imagery we might be able to get a sky view and, and discern what the make and model might be. Next, another challenge. He's hoping that someone comes forward with dash cam video that could show more about the vehicle. The video's out there. We just got to get the right person. Sadly, we're talking Moab, where you get visitors from all around the country and all around the world. Jensen believes the murders of Kylan and Crystal took place on August 14th or early August 15th. He's also hopeful that law enforcement is working towards a DNA profile with evidence collected at the scene so they can name a suspect. I honestly believe that Grand, uh, the Grand County Sheriff's Office is doing all that they can, but it takes time. Investigators do believe there is visual evidence still out there that could help connect the dots in this double homicide investigation. If you have any information, they'd like you to reach out. We can show you how on our website, fox13now.com. Brian Schnee, Fox 13 News, Utah. Fox 13 News reached out to the Grand County Sheriff's Office for an update. They are the agency in charge of this investigation. We did not hear back. There are rewards still out there for information that leads to an arrest. To learn more about how to share any tips or clues you may have, go to fox13now.com.